Welcome to Tech Results Armory. In this video, we are going to learn how to upgrade SQL Server instance from Express to the Standard or Enterprise Edition in GCP. So, uh, why I want to do that? Because uh, maybe I have started uh, my GCP SQL Server instance in Express. Uh, I don't want to pay too much money, and uh, just I started uh, so with very small number of uh, database, uh, or uh, you know, uh, later on I wanted to. Uh, change to the standard edition or enterprise uh, so I can use as a production server that could be one reason uh, one of the other thing uh, I uh, want to discuss here I have not reverted back uh, let's say if I'm in standard uh, can I go back to express uh, that I have not experimented so that we will experiment uh, as well in this video so let's go ahead and take a look uh, here uh, I have uh, my SQL server instance uh, called the tech brother SQL uh, if I click right there and uh, you can see right there SQL server 2019 Express edition. Um, that's what the edition I have. Uh, so to get there, how I I can always go to the uh, navigation menu and then I went to the SQL and that's how I end up uh, right here. Uh, and I have only one instance uh, here, so I can uh, simply see the type uh, right here. Now other way, I'm gonna go ahead and click right there, and uh, now I can go and take this uh, IP and then connect uh, from my SSMS. Uh, if you don't know how to do that or getting some error, you can watch my other video where I showed uh, uh, how you can use uh, SSMS uh, and connect from your local computer uh, to the uh, SQL Server instance on GCP. Now, just provide a password here, your SQL user is a SQL user and connect. Uh, in this uh, uh, query, I'm gonna go ahead and sim write the same query you've been writing. Select at the rate at the rate version. So this will give us a, a complete version of our SQL Server. Now see right there, we have uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2019, uh, and uh, that's uh, RTM CU 16 KB this, you know, and uh, you can see right there dates, copyrights, all that Express Edition on Linux uh, Ubuntu. So uh, this uh, uh, SQL Server that we have created uh, in uh, uh, our uh, GCP that is not installed uh, on a Windows Server. This is installed on a Linux box uh, under the hood. Uh, so that's good. We don't care uh, as long as our uh, SQL Server runs, uh, you know. So SQL Server is running on the Linux uh, operating system uh, uh, on GCP. And uh, here I would like to change from Express to the standard. Uh, now I'm going to go right there and click on Edit button. Once I click on edit button, it's, uh, that's where I can make other changes uh, such as uh, I want to increase my CPUs and all those storage uh, uh, that uh, I have a video how to do that as well. Uh, but uh, I'm not interested in those settings. I'm interested uh, in this part. Uh, database version upgrade available. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit uh, upgrade. And here uh, it will ask me where you want to just uh, continue editing or you want to go to the upgrade page i'm going to go to the upgrade page and then we'll make changes here you can see that uh, database version of upgrade so what we have there we have a uh, sql server 2019 web if you want to upgrade to this one or we have sql server 2019 standard and uh, we have a sql server 2019 enterprise i'm going to go ahead and go to the standard here and uh, then uh, hit uh, continue. Now here uh, confirm that you would like to initiate upgrade of uh, instance uh, major version by typing it uh, ID. Okay, so I have to take the instance name here and uh, paste it right there. Once I do that, uh, you can see current version is a uh, database uh, uh, express and it will be upgraded to the uh, standard edition. Uh, now what we will do, uh, we will uh, start uh, upgrade. Uh, Instance is being updated. This may take few minutes while the operate operation is running. You may continue to view information about the instance. Okay, that's uh, what it is happening. And uh, meanwhile, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to create uh, some table or access some table. Let's see if it let me do that. So uh, we can go to the tables here and see if there is any table. I have one table only actually in one of the database. So. So right here, you see that uh, the table is there and uh, I can uh, select the data. So if I select the data, let's see if it let me select the data. Yep, it's uh, letting me select the data. I'm gonna go ahead and create table DBS test two. Uh, test uh, one is okay. 
and uh, I will say ID integer okay so upgrade is an under process and uh, I am also inserting the values here so that means uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you know insert uh, you can actually keep working uh, while it is upgrading uh, so values 100 okay so we insert the value there and then uh, we also select the value from that table now let me select and this is just working fine and uh, now we can go ahead and check the version and see if the version has a change so let me see right there and now it is a still express edition so it is working so let's uh, wait for it and see it is still in the process of upgrading it's almost two minutes so let's uh, go to the connections go to the other items and I think uh, there is no problem on taking a look on other items uh, while uh, it is uh, uh, upgrading so still it is express uh, and if I go to the overview I'm gonna see probably that message right there so I'm I'm it's helpful uh, to see there is upgrade going on and also I can see right here uh, I can see upgrade is still happening now and here uh, under the operation and logs uh, we can see that information as well so instance is being updated and uh, the status is the uh, update we can go to operations as well and uh, it should show the same message there somewhere yes so we are seeing this message right here it took almost seven minutes uh, to upgrade uh, from uh, express to the standard and uh, you can see that uh, it has been uh, updated now you can see right there sql server 2019 uh, standard edition right there and uh, if i go to the sql instances right there it will uh, show me right here as well uh, so it says sql server 2019 standard now if i go back to my ssms and execute this query that uh, will give me the version it's gonna tell me I have a SQL Server standard edition running on the Linux Ubuntu. Okay, great. And uh, if you remember that we have a couple of tables, uh, uh, we can simply go ahead and execute the query. Nothing happened to them. So while uh, it did a uh, upgrade uh, from Express to the standard, we can, could have you know simply create tables. We run the queries. Nothing uh, really went down. No? So that's good thing. Now what we are going to do another experiment? Uh, can we downgrade? So if uh, I have standard edition and uh, or maybe I have enterprise edition and I want to go back to the previous uh, edition that's possible or not uh, so let's go back to this instance and uh, let's try that uh, now go hit uh, edit and here uh, we'll see what options we have uh, so here we have a SQL Server 2019 standard and upgrade and if I click go to the upgrade page and now I want to see what's available so the option is only available to the SQL Server 2019 enterprise so that's one of the thing if you have upgraded you don't really have a way to go back from this wizard uh, let me go back here and uh, what uh, other options we have let's go back and take a look and uh, maybe uh, on the backups here and uh, if uh, we have taken a backup uh, so from uh, before you t uh, start uh, upgrading your SQL Server Express to the standard uh, it automatically actually took the uh, backup right here see right there so there there is a backup available so what we can do probably we can restore this backup to the new clone so let me see if I can go ahead and say uh, restore and in this case it is asking me restore an instance from the backup make sure you are restoring the right data to the correct instance okay so if I want to go ahead and do this uh, then if I will go ahead and uh, let me cancel this out actually this is post uh, this is what we would like to do so we want to do pre uh, upgrade uh, backup you know so we don't want to do post because uh, it took the pre update backup sql server 20 express to the this um, so we might want to back restore with this one no? because the post will be probably after the restore uh, after the uh, your uh, upgrade happen no? so well, let's uh, start with this one so I'm gonna go ahead and restore and then uh, see if we restore back uh, you cannot restore an instance from the backup of incompatible database version okay 
so you can't really go back to the tech browsers and uh, because it's uh, now standard and uh, when the backup was taken it was express so confirm that you would like to uh, confirm that you restore the select instance from the backup okay if I will do that what happened then okay so that's not possibility in this case to restore because this is giving us error okay so now what other options we have uh, other compatible this instance we don't have really option here so the only option we see probably is uh, maybe uh, from uh, backups uh, maybe create another instance with express and then restore their backup you know so I uh, honestly have to experiment that by myself here uh, if I can uh, take this backup and restore an another instance um, so let me see if I restore So that's the problem. So you will see only the instances that are compatible with the, this selected backup. So so we don't have it. So maybe uh, what I can do here, I can go to the SQL here. First, uh, let's create an instance uh, with Express and then restore. So I'm going to go ahead and choose SQL Server here. And then uh, maybe say TB IT SQL Express. Okay, not standard. We want to uh, express because we want to restore our backup to this one. And then probably the one that we have already, maybe we can delete it later, the instance I'm talking about. So we will go with the, this uh, settings and uh, just uh, keep it everything uh, simple and easy. So connections is fine. Um, I the only thing I'm uh, just concerned is the customer is the size of the machine so I'm just okay we will go with this one because we are gonna anyways uh, delete that so we will create this instance uh, and it is a uh, express uh, edition so once this is created then we will restore our pre uh, backup that we did from the before we upgraded so honestly it looks like it's not easy once you upgrade from express to the standard or standard to the enterprise there is no really way back from the same instance so you have to create another instance and then restore your backups and that's how you will go now our express version of sql server is ready and it's called tbit sql express and if i go to the databases if you remember that we have only these uh, system databases uh, we don't have any other database um, in actual uh, instance uh, we had uh, two databases uh, that we have upgraded to the standard edition um, now what we are going to do we are going to go back here and if you remember that uh, before we uh, initiated uh, the upgrade uh, it uh, automatically took uh, the backup uh, so it is called the pre upgrade backup uh, so if you guys see right there so I that I did not take it it automatically took uh, for the instance uh, right there okay so we can restore this to the new instance and I'm gonna go ahead and restore and here it is asking me which instance so you can see there now we have a TBIT a SQL Express version available and I can simply go ahead and just provide this name and what's gonna happen it's gonna restore all the databases to this newly created Express version of SQL instance so let's go ahead and restore and now we should be good it's restoring right now let's uh, wait for a couple of minutes so finally our uh, databases are restored to the tbit sql express uh, uh, instance of a sql server that's uh, express uh, edition um, now we can go to databases here and uh, take a look uh, there should be two more databases uh, that uh, we had and uh, let me see if uh, connection are also added or not no so we have to add our ip to connect um, so i'm going to go ahead and add uh, my ip here and uh, i'm going to call it uh, my ip and uh, what is my ip what is my ip check in and I'm gonna copy that so I can connect uh, to the I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to add it here 
and then we'll uh, connect uh, by using SSMS. So done and hit save. Now I will go back here to the overview. So this uh, is working right now and I'm going to copy this uh, IP. So now if I will go back here to my SQL instance and I can simply and then provide password. Okay. So that's uh, done and you can see right there these two databases are available. So these, uh, uh, if I can take a look, this is a version, express version. And uh, we remember that we have created two. Uh, we have created a table while we were upgrading. So uh, that uh, might not be there because it is a pre. Okay, so that is there actually. So while it was actually uh, updating, these uh, uh, table were created as well as a part of it. Uh, so if I will go ahead and uh, take a look, you know, so I have that data there. And uh, then we created the second table while the upgrade was running. Uh, that was also taken in the backup. So there is the data for that table as well. Uh, so what we learned from here, uh, it is very easy to upgrade for your SQL uh, Server instance uh, from Express to the standard or Enterprise. Uh, but if you have to revert back, uh, there is no straightforward to the same uh, uh, instance. Uh, what you have to do, you have to create a new instance uh, and uh, then uh, restore the backup uh, that uh, was uh, done uh, before the upgrade. So you can go to the backups and uh, there would be pre uh, upgrade backup available for you. And then you can use that backup to restore the new express edition of SQL Server on GCP. So that make it uh, harder, you know, um, that's also I believe it will be true for on premises as well. So if you have on premises, uh, SQL Server, uh, Enterprise or standard, you cannot go back to the express as well. So but uh, uh, just be careful if if you want to upgrade uh, from uh, Express to the standard or uh, to the enterprise, uh, make sure you are not uh, reverting back. Uh, and if you need to revert back, be ready. You have to create a new instance uh, uh, in Express uh, and then restore the backups. Uh, and uh, by doing that, what does that mean? Uh, you probably will be making uh, changes to the, to the connection strings or wherever you has been using it because now you will be deleting this one the standard edition because you don't need that anymore and uh, if you want to use the, the express again uh, this is the new name of the instance uh, so the ip will be changed and the connection uh, you know name and all that you have to make changes as well i thank you for watching this video i hope this video is helpful and uh, uh, go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video